Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm doing a bit of a departure from smoked food. I'm making some sushi. But before we get into that, I just want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. If you find this kind of content interesting, then please do like, subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload some new content. So, as I said, this is a bit of a departure from the norm. Normally we're doing meat curing, food smoking and charcuterie, bit of open fire cooking, but this is a massive departure because I'm actually making, for the very first time, some sushi, some nori rolls. Don't forget to watch to the very end of the video because I've put together a sushi kit so all the things you need to make your sushi at home. I'll take you through that in some detail at the end of the video. But before we do that, let's get and make some nori rolls. Full details on how to prepare the rice are in the description of this video. Place an even layer of rice on the nori sheet over two thirds of its surface, leaving a short gap at the part nearest you and make sure the rice goes right to the edges. Cut your filling into nice long strips and lay them evenly across the full length of the nori roll. In this example, we're using smoked red pepper, cucumber, and sliced prawns. So, gotta try and roll these. I think I might just go for a little bit more rice on the end there. It just looks a little bit light to me, so. I don't want to go right the way to the end because I'll, I'll have nothing to uh, seal it up on. The rice can be a little bit sticky. It would have been a lot easier to have wet my fingers before handling the rice. So it's always good to have a bowl of clean, cold water just to put your fingers in before you handle the rice. It makes it, the job so much easier. Right, roll. Here we go. Rolling the sushi can be a little tricky, so use your fingers to try and keep all the contents in the center of the roll as you're bringing the nori sheet over to meet the rice. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy. Don't forget to pop all the little bits that fall out back in the end. You don't want to waste any of that. Cutting can be really tricky, so use the sharpest possible knife that you can get and wet your blade before each cut. You'll see that I didn't actually do that in my example, but my knife was really, really sharp and I was able to cut through it. If your knife is, has just got a slightly blunt edge on it, it's incredibly difficult. Those perforations on the nori roll that you saw me move just a second ago act as really good guides when it comes to cutting, and that can give you your exact portion size. So when these go onto a plate, they look absolutely professional and lovely. In this, my second nori roll, I'm using the smoked strips of pepper again. And with this, I'm adding some avocado and prawns.
There we go. How does that look? I'm looking forward to that. Not bad for a first attempt, I hope. Right, let me show you my nori kit. Firstly, let's have a look at the rice. Sushi rice, everything, by the way, here has been purchased from my Chinese supermarket, my local Chinese supermarket, but any good kind of um, supermarket should do this sort of stuff. Right, so sushi rice, directions are on the back. Always read the directions. One of the first things I would always recommend is to rinse the rice under cold running water about two or three times maybe even more, till the water runs clear so you can get rid of all that excess starch. But the cooking instructions for the rice are pretty universal. Follow them on the back. I'll do a video at some stage in the future showing you how to do all the rice. So, that is the rice. Once you've opened the packet, it can spill everywhere if it's in a box. I mean, I keep my kit in a box and uh, I tend to transfer the rice from any open packets into a sealed container like this. Simple takeaway container will do that and that keeps it all nice and neat. The next thing which goes with the rice is the rice vinegar. Now this one is a sweetened one, it's got a nice tangy flavour to it. You can buy just the ordinary rice wine and add some salt and add some sugar to it to make uh, the addition for the rice, um, but this one is pre-mixed and it's ready to go. So no faffing about, just fill your spoon up and put a few sprinkles on your rice. So that's, that's your rice vinegar. Obligatory dark soy sauce for seasoning. And we can't forget the ginger. Now I've got two types. This is called Gary. Gary! Oi, Gary! Oi, Gary. Over, here. Over here. I've got uh, two different types of this. I've got a red one. Well, it's a pink one, really. It's just got a little bit of red food colouring in it. There's no difference. And this natural one here. They're both really nice and tasty. This is a new one. I haven't opened this one yet, but I've had it before and it's very nice. So that is the ginger. Also, if you make California rolls, I've got these black sesame seeds. Now, California rolls are the sushi roll with the rice on the outside. And I just sprinkle a few of these on the board and roll the California rolls on that to give it a really nice coating of these little black sesame seeds. Um, we've also got some wasabi paste. Now it's not real wasabi, anyone knows if you use wasabi, it comes in the rootstock and you grind it as you go. The thing about real wasabi, other than the fact that it's really quite expensive, is that it loses its intensity over time. So this is a paste, it's made from horseradish sauce. It's still very powerful and it will really blow your nose apart if you put too much on. So be really careful with stuff like that. That is our horseradish or our wasabi paste. Now, no sushi would be sushi without nori roll. This is a seaweed sheet and it has a shiny side, and there's the shiny side, and it has a matte side. Now you put the rice on the matte side, and you roll it round onto the shiny side, so the shiny side's on the outside. If you look carefully, you can also see this has got some perforations in here, and those perforations allow you to, uh, well, they just act as a guide for cutting. So those are your, um, nori rolls, nori sheets I should say, and there's a few manufacturers, few different types of manufacturers that do these, but they're all pretty much of a muchness. Now, to be able to roll your sushi, you're going to need a sushi mat. Now, in my video that you've just seen, the sushi mat wasn't covered in cling film, and that means that sometimes if rice gets on it, or any of the food, or the fish, or anything like that gets on here, you're gonna to need to wash this. Now I've washed this a couple of times and it's fine, but a lot of people, when they use these, wrap them in cling film. I will do that in future, just to make sure that it doesn't get dirty, but they're only a few quid if you need to replace them. And they do wash okay, so you can wash them there. So that is my mat. There's my nori rolls. So 
So that, people, is my sushi kit. And probably under 20 pounds in the uh, Chinese supermarket for this whole kit. It's very easy to make. I would urge any of you, get down to your local Chinese supermarket, pick up yourself a sushi kit, and you will be in absolute sushi heaven. Well, I hope you liked the video, and um, don't forget, like, subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications when we upload some new content. In the meantime, enjoy your sushi, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.